Hey there, it's Sharon, your guitar god, helping you find your sound. Today we're learning how to play the Tennessee Flat Top Box by Johnny Cash. And this is actually video two, so if you, if you haven't seen video one, go ahead and check that out and then come back and we'll go over everything you need to know to play the entire song. So we'll get into it right after this. Hey, if you haven't checked out yourguitarguide.com, I'm inviting you over. There's the Guitar Essential blog for lots of free information, everything to help you find your sound. And we've got a gear shop for all your guitar accessories, or if you want to buy a new guitar, we've got them too. So, come on over. Check it out. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of this song, and let me show you where we left off. That's where we're at, and he would play. And he would play its open A string, second fret, fourth fret, all on the fifth string, A, two, four, open fourth string. open four string. So we actually do that three times. Pick the fourth string, fourth fret. Up and down economy picking on the third string, second fret. Back to the 4th fret, 4th string. Open G, 3rd string. Back to the 4th string, 4th fret. 4th string, 2nd fret. G, 2nd string. 2nd fret, or excuse me, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Economy picking up and down. 1, 2, 3. And back to the 4th string, 2nd fret. So here's what we got so far. So after we pick it three times, pick the fourth string, second fret twice, pick the G string, second fret twice, back to the fourth string, second fret, pick it one time. Hammer on the G string at the second fret. Open G, fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, fourth string. Open D string. And then it's the D, open fourth string. 4th fret of the 5th string, 2nd fret of the 5th string, open A string, 5th string. So it's... 
the fourth string at the second fret we're going to leave it there and we're going to hammer on the fourth string fourth fret hit the A string pick the fourth string second fret hammer on the fourth string fourth fret how it ends just fades out the good news is you can rewind it and learn it in bite-sized pieces because it's a lot to learn but you can do it take your time and just take chunks of it and learn maybe the intro and then once you get that down pat start practicing how to strum and move from the A to the E. Then do a little bit more each day till you get the whole song. I hope you take the time to learn this song. It's a little tricky but really take it slow and bite sized pieces and you'll be able to play it. I told you I'd leave you the information on where to get the tab for this. Check the link below and that should help you out while you're practicing this song if you like this video can you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and share it with your friends thanks